Hey guys, Bernish here. So I'm doing, um, as you can see, my YouTube editing, mm, movie making, all that sort of stuff. And so I thought I'd give you a quick guide for the best, um, what I think is the best DPS Sage build for PVE, especially in hero uh, in hard modes. Um, now, if you go look on SithWarrior.com or .net, uh, they do have some theory crafting, and they've proven that uh, this. Well, these particular specs are better in DPS by, I think it was like 10 or 20, so it's not by that much. Um, I would personally pick what you prefer to play, however, if you do want a maxing DPS spec, you can always go for this one. Okay, now the specs I'm going to be going over are 28-13, so 28 points in balance, 13 in telekinetics, that's right, it is hybrid. And the other hybrid is 24-17, which is 24 points in balance, 17 points in telekinetics. So the first one we're going to be going over is the 28 and 13, and you want to put 3 points in empowered throw, and 2 points in will of the Jedi, so increase your total willpower, and the damage dealt by telekinetic throw, seen as it's your main uh, ability. Next you want to put... Um, Wowhead, uh, sorry, not Wowhead, Torhead, do actually have a uh, glitch I can see here that uh, this is actually for the Sin balance tree. Um, but if you put two points into where this will be here, this will actually uh, increase the crit chance of your telekinetic wave and disturbance, I believe, by 10%. Um, so, yeah, just pick the talent that's going to be there. You want three in upheaval so your um, project can do more damage. You want to put one point in force imbalance, obviously, uh, three points in, in psychic barrier for the mana regen or force regen, um, point in telekinetic balance so you don't have cooldown, presence of mind, obviously, uh, containment, which is good for ad packs if you want to quickly CC them, which has come in, in use so many times. Um, now here is where you've got a bit of choice, um, you could put pinning resolve which means um, standard or weak enemies will also get lifted if you lift um, other ones near them. Still mm, not really as good for raiding purposes, reduce all damage taken by 2%, again not that great of a deal, um, I'd prefer to take less damage from periodic effects because there are a few peri periodic effects that bosses can put on you and I'd rather take less damage from that. Okay, you want to put your point in force suppression, so your dots do more damage. Two points into drain thoughts, which increases the damage of your weakened mind. Um, and you want to put two points in assertion, which increases the duration of your mind crush. Now, this sounds a bit weird, it says increase duration of mind crush. This does also increase the damage, because I got a bit confused the first time anyway. Um, then you want to put your last three points in mental scarring, which increases the critical damage of... Uh, the bo critical bonus damage of your force imbalance and your periodic effects, so your dots basically, because you are a dot heavy class. Okay, so now you want to put three points in clamoring force to increase the damage from mind crush by 6%, because and uh, telekinetic wave as well. Three points in inner strength to reduce the force, and two points in mental longevity to increase your total force. Um, to j just purely so you'll be more sustainable. Then I prefer to put two points in uh, weakened mind duration increase by six seconds. Um, this basically means when I go to reset my dots, then every time I do, weakened mind has a little bit of duration left. I know it's not the best thing to do, but um, if I didn't have this, then it would probably run out uh, before I put up my next dot. So. You can either put it in that though, or you can put it in telekinetic defense, which increases the amount absorbed by your force armor. This is um, pretty much only good if you do not have another sage in your group that is um, a healer. So you could get this for the orbs on Soa hard mode. Um, just general things like that. It's, it's pretty much one of your only defensive cooldowns that you actually have. Okay, next you want to go um, for Telekinetic Wave, obviously. Uh, this is a great deal of damage and should be used with Presence of Mind uh, when Mind Crush is on cooldown. And Psychic Projection, this is where a lot of your damage comes from by going Hybrid because you can basically do uh, two Telekinetic Throws in one channel period. Then. Uh, that's it. That is your 2813 spec, and uh, this spec is good. It does especially tons of damage due to mental scarring, uh, increasing the damage of your dots. Now I'm going to show you the other spec, and this um, I suppose is a bit of a fallback spec, especially if you have less gear, um, 
or you don't have as good out healers for example and I'll explain why so here is the other build and as you can see it's pretty much the same except for I only have one point in assertion which increases the duration of weakened mind by one second then you should have four points uh, when you don't take mantle scarring you take one out of assertion you want to put two of those points into either force wake or blackout or um, telekinetic defense whichever you prefer I just put mine randomly in force wake it doesn't really matter that much to be honest then you want to put two points up here in telekinetic infusion now uh, this is pretty good because it means every single time your force attack crits which should be a lot considering you have psychic protection and you need crits from weakened mind um, in order for that to work so you're going to be uh, at least having quite a decent amount of crit especially with your amount of willpower and this basically means you will never go uh, oof I suppose force problems I had at the beginning when I didn't have much gear um, and so did my he and neither did my healers so getting this at the start when you're just trying out hard modes is especially uh, good because you're going to run out of uh, force quite a lot in a lot of fights. Um, I would say this spec is more is a lot better in Kragas Palace um, rather than Eternity Vault simply because in Eternity Vault you have um, three, three, four bosses where you have stages where you can regen force and um, it just automatically goes up so you don't necessarily need total force dominance um, you can sacrifice it for the extra damage so these are the two specs uh, choose from which you please um, I have cleared the whole of um, Eternity Vault on hard mode we now have uh, hard mode Soa on farm basically and uh, we're currently clearing Kragos Palace the only reason why we haven't cleared it yet is because uh, it was really late so we decided to just quit uh, while we were ahead um, and we're gonna continue that and we're gonna go we're gonna be able to do it without a hitch I can already guarantee because we we did uh, one of the bosses in hard mode um, straight away one shot at it first time easy anyway guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this guide for help on how to build your PVE Sage um, if you've got any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below I'll talk to you all next time.